Okay, Marcus Ross, a quick video today, and we're going to actually follow up on a video that I did a couple of days ago in which I talked about being able to help families understand case worth if they're looking to move forward on a legal action if their baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury at birth namely HIE and in that video I discussed these specific experts called certified life care planners and how they're important to uh, birth injury attorneys like myself in being able to assess case value and in that video I also discussed an important tool that they use called a life care plan and so based on that video the questions were well what about things like nursing care and what about things like respite for the parents if they're the primary caregivers and so I want us to talk a little bit more about that and so when we're putting these cases together and that life care plan yes it is going to take into consideration things like nursing it is going to take into consideration nursing care because if a baby has a traumatic brain injury at birth and if you or if your baby has something like this going on you know that depending on the severity of the injury itself that nursing is important and in some cases these children will need nursing care 24-hour help sometimes they'll need overnight help sometimes they'll need every other day or as needed but regardless of what type of help is needed based on the severity of the injury these types of things are taken in consideration in life care plans in addition to that in addition to that when we are discussing respite care specifically for the parents and it's definitely if they are the primary caregivers uh, for the baby and things like that then yes respite care is also something that can be discussed and uh, and thought about being put into the plan look when a child has a traumatic brain injury Parents do the best that they can. They do the absolute best, and especially when they are the caregivers for everything. But just like everything else, they're human. They're human. And so, yes, it can be a situation in which the parents may need a day or they may need a weekend. They may need to hire an, a nurse or an aide to help come in so they can take a break for themselves. Yes, these types of things have to be taken into consideration with these types of cases. And so another aspect of these cases that's important to the process are special needs trusts. And depending on the jurisdiction that you're in, special needs trusts are also used for these babies. And a special needs trust, uh, that the money can go in and then there's a trustee that's there to, to distribute things as needed. And so I'm just trying to help you understand that nursing care and respite and anything that's going to be needed for the betterment or for the best interest of that child, these types of things will be taken into consideration in these life care plans. So there, it's not just going to be just the medical aspect of things. I talked about a little bit of this in the other video, but it, things like retrofitting your home or things like, uh, or how, not, not, not just your home, but car, if your car needs a, a ramp or a lift. These are the types of things that are contemplated in these life care plans. If you have more questions, maybe you're here today because your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury like HIE and you have questions. There's a telephone number on the screen. What I invite you to do is go ahead and pick up the phone and call me. When you contact my office, let my secretary know that you would like to get on our calendar, you would like a date, you'd like to pick a date and a time, that's important. Make sure you pick a date and a time uh, to so we can you know talk with you about your baby's story. It costs absolutely nothing for you initially to talk with us about what's going on with your child. One more thing before I get out of here. This video, it is on the internet, it's on social media, it's on you know other places, and I can't control who's watching everything. Uh, I practice law here in the state of Maryland, and so if you are not in Maryland, you reach out to me, you have to understand that we have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, an attorney in your state, and that's something that we can work to help you with, but I just wanna make sure that you understand that co-counsel or that local counsel aspect of things. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland in Boston Law Group, LLC. We'll talk with you next time. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.